a very good morning to all of you now we will be beginning a new series of lectures that is linux in this series of lectures we will be talking about the linux operating system learning about various commands of linux the syllabus is divided into five units and we will be covering the five units in a mere time of two or three months. This is the introduction of Linux. What is basically Linux is? In a common language, we always say Linux is an open source free operating system. But when we go beneath and in more technicalities, we say that Linux is the name given to the kernel which was developed in 1991 by Linus Torvalds. And a very good thing is that Linus Torvalds was a second year student at University of Helensky when he developed this kernel which we can consider as, as a modification of Unix. Linux is used as an operating system. It is distributed in various forms. There are various versions which are known as Linux distribution or distros. For example, different distros of Linux which are available for free is Debian, Ubuntu, CentOS, SUS, Mint, Gen2, Slack, where there are various distributions which are available and which you all can use and download and use it freely it is a powerful operating system a key point is that you can modify and add functionalities to this kernel and develop your own operating system i have seen many btech students doing the project of developing their own operating system by adding functionalities into the linux kernel there are other versions also of the Linux which comes as an enterprise edition which is not free like Reddit Linux, SUS Linux, Oracle Linux, Scientific Linux and other versions also. A website from where you can go through these versions of Linux and what are the various distributions which are available is distrowatch.com. You can go through this website and learn more about the various distributions of Linux. Now before we proceed about the Linux, let us consider certain very key terms multi processor, multi programming, multitasking, multi threading. These four things are the characteristics of Linux, but are they not the characteristics of Windows also? So, let us see each characteristic one by one. So, let us concentrate on what I am saying multi processing multi processing means an operating system which supports more than one processor suppose in my laptop there are two processor and i am having an operating system which is supporting both the processor it becomes a multi processing operating system so linux is a multi processing operating system windows is also a multi processing operating system Similarly, we could talk about multi-programming. When we talk about multi-programming operating system, it depends upon the memory allocation of the programs. Linux is also multi-programming and Windows is also multi-programming. Both have a difference in the way they deal with the programs. In case of Linux multi-programming operating system, the child inherit from the parent. A fork is created whereas in Windows swapping is done in case of multi programming but both supports multi programming similarly when we talk about multitasking multitasking means different tasks being executed at the same time for example you are browsing also and listening to music also so both the things are possible in Windows also and Linux also so what is the difference when Linux also supports all the features, Windows also supports all the features, what is the difference? See, the difference lies from the programming perspective, from the user perspective, from the security perspective. 
Linux is considered to be more secure. Linux is open source. A programmer or developer can do the changes as per his own use. Linux is free. Windows requires certain cost. Linux is assumed to be more faster. Multiple threading is possible in Linux. Multiple threading is possible in Windows. But more threads are there in Linux. So Linux is considered to be more faster. And the major thing is installation of packages, installation of softwares become very easy in case of Linux. Linux people say is difficult because of the command line but now the versions like Ubuntu which creates a GUI atmosphere it gives the same picture as we were using Windows. Linux is something which every BTEC student should learn I would say. So let's proceed more. Why should we care about Linux as I already said that Linux is something which every BTEC student should learn. If you go through the chart written over here you will see how Linux is important. Linux is there in every device we are using today. Even in our Android phones, the smartphones, the Android operating system is Linux based on Linux. So it is an embedded operating system. The games you are using is having Linux as an operating system. The routers, the firewalls, the switches which you are using is having Linux as an operating system. So Linux is something which is very much needed and the need of today. Now Linux is a totally dependent on a file structure. Everything in Linux is a file. Everything is a directory. There are more than 250 commands in our lectures ahead. We will be seeing different commands of Linux. The Linux depends on the file structure. Everything is denoted as a file. Everything is denoted as a directory. Like in Windows, we talk about folders. In Linux, we have directory. It is having a tree-like structure. Linux have a tree-like structure. Root having the main directory and then other subdirectories followed by the main directory where we work. Now let's talk about the structure of Linux. The structure of any operating system, the key point, the heart, the brain of the operating system is the kernel. The kernel is the source code which is written, a program which deals with the hardware. When the user gives the commands, the kernel takes the commands and interacts with the hardware. All the management, the memory management, the system management is done by the kernel. It interacts with the hardware. After the kernel there is a part which is known as the shell. The shell is the commands which we give to the kernel. There are different shells on which we give the commands to the kernel. The kernel is the main key heart and the brain of the operating system. Over and above of the shell are our applications which we make which a user built and which a user writes and the interaction is done through the shell and the kernel. So we will not see what is a remote access and what is the bash shell and all those things. Then there are different commands which we will be seeing in the next session. The main part is that Linux is a powerful operating system, the kernel which makes Linux strong. The distribution of Linux is known as distros of Linux and there are various commands which are executed through the shell and kernel. So in the next sessions, in the next lecture, we will be going through different commands of Linux.